Hey guys, this is Sean. Today I'm going to cook something super easy for you because I'm actually kind of lazy. So I picked myself up 100 grams of pancetta, I had a small onion, and I got a cup of bruschetta when I was at the store. So I'm going to turn these in my rice maker into food that you can enjoy in basically the amount of time it takes a rice maker to go off. Okay, step one. Rice cooker, just a standard one. I Actually, it's probably only worth like 40 bucks. Um, it's got keep warm and rice cook. When the lever's down, it's cooking. That's the important thing to remember. Because a lot of the time when you're cooking in a rice maker with nothing in it, it's going to actually keep trying to turn itself on to keep warm. This is a safety feature that we're bypassing. It's probably not a good idea. Um, okay, so I've put oil in here after allowing it to heat up for a little bit. Um, once this oil is good and hot, then I'm going to start adding in my ingredients that I've shown you already. Now that the oil is hot, we put in our onion. As well as our pancetta. Now that my onions and pancetta have gotten some color, I'm going to add in the bruschetta. I just picked up a small package, a cup worth. Let's do this all up. Now this is going to add a lot of moisture to your rice. My button down again because it went up on me. Okay. Everything has bubbled and come up to heat. So I'm going to add in my rice. I had two coffee mugs full of rice, which means that usually with this long grain white rice, I would need four cups of water. But because of all the liquid that I have in here already, I'm gonna cut that back. Um, I'm gonna add about one and three quarter cup of water for every cup of rice that I have in there. So, two and six quarters, um, three and a half cups of, rice, of water. Yes, yes, I mathed there. You heard that. I could turn on the light for you. I make sure that everything's mixed up. I've cooked the rice and stirred it together until everything is well blended and mixed, as you can see. Now I'm going to add in the water. Let me make sure to stir it up. Stirring is actually very important for this recipe because it's basically all you can do. Um, other than not cook in a rice maker. Close the lid on my rice maker. And I turn it on. Okay. Now I just leave it closed and I wait for it to be cooked. I will be back when this thing clicks and is done. Okay. My rice maker has switched over from cook to keep warm. And it seemed to have taken enough time. I'm going to check it, but I'm not going to be surprised if it's not done. Ooh. Actually, no, it might be done. Get some light in here. Okay. Oh, wow, no, that is done. Sweet. If you find that your rice is done, fluff it, like I'm doing now. It's much easier if you have two hands available. Ooh, it smells delicious. Okay. And then you close the lid again for another five minutes to let it settle. I'm going to try a little grain of rice just to be sure. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious.
Okay, now I need to set a timer for five minutes and then I get to serve. Five minutes has passed. And our food is ready. Time to scoop her up. And there we have it. A quick and easy pancetta paella made using 100 grams of pancetta, a cup of store-bought bruschetta, and some rice in a rice maker. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, be sure to check out some of my other cooking videos. I've done a few other recipes. I also have some videos of the trains around town, and I do some unboxing. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Bye!